Hello guys, welcome to GTV Presents Tech Review. Another episode. In this episode, I'll show you guys actually how you can um uh, upload ISO file, any kind of ISO. It can be Windows uh, operating system ISO file, or it can be Linux ISO file, or it can be any other appliance ISO file. So any kind of ISO file, how you can upload to your ESXi data store. So that's what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to share my screen and show you practically. Um. So this is my ESXi. I just I logged into my ESXi, and if I click on the storage, it's gonna show my local storage. If I have any local storage, and also I have I attach here some uh, NAS storage. I thought that's called a shell storage. So maybe you don't have shell storage. That's fine. If you have a local storage, local storage, any storage. So in my this ESXi, I have total four storage. So any one of the storage. I can create a folder and in that folder, I can upload all the ISO files. So as a sample, I'm going to show you, say for example, in this one, say for example, this one, the first one, but actually you, sh you shouldn't do the first one because it's you not know, the first one I installed ESXi, but for demonstration, I'm just showing. Um, don't like upload or delete anything on the first data store. Uh, let me, let's go to the second one actually. So the data store you install ESXi, don't do anything on that one. So other three, I can choose anyone. So I just, what I did so far, so I just click on the storage and I select which was storage I want to upload a ISO file. So first you have to download an ISO file and, be, and then upload it to your uh, ESXi, ESXi data store. So first you have to download from anywhere, from the internet, or maybe you can collect it from your friend or whatever you want, or maybe from, um, the vendor side. So you have, so for example, you are trying to upload Windows 10 ISO file. So you have to down, you have to log into the Microsoft, download the ISO file to lo locally to your laptop, and then log into your ESXi, go to your storage, and then select a storage where you wanna upload. So why are you gonna upload it? Why you should follow those steps? The reason is in future, whenever you're gonna create a virtual machine, you don't need to have ISO file locally on your laptop. So you can directly show from the data store and you can install it. So one time upload and then you can use it multiple times. That's why you should do that. So download all the ISO, all the Windows ISO, say for example, Windows 2016, 2019, 2022, and like any kind of uh, ESXi ISO file, vCenter, or maybe any Linux, uh, to Windows 10 ISO file, Windows 11 ISO file, download all of them and upload to your data store. And so I'm going to show you the sample on this data store. So I just selected one data store and then there is a menu here, register VM data store browser. So click on data store browser, and then you're gonna see the data store selector is, is highlighted and the rest of them not highlighted. So now, there is an option called create a directory. Click here and then name it as a ISO. ISO, that's it. Create. So see, now ISO folder is, if I select this one, so, so you see here, if I select this one, this one shows in this uh, NAS01 um, folder. If I select this one, it shows NAS02 folder. And if you select this one, it only shows the data to 02 folder, right? So I, I just created this folder, select this one. You have to make sure you are selecting, but if you don't select it, if you select the wrong one and click upload, so the file will be upload the wrong folder. Make sure you selected right folder and then click upload. And then where you download the, uh, if you were to go to download and, where, and, and then upload the ISO file where you download it, right? So I download it on my download folder locally to my laptop. So, so just an example, I'm, I am uploading this one. Uh, this, this one, ISO file. This is a, a USX, another ESX ISO file. As a demonstration, I am showing because I don't have the Windows ISO here. So same way, same process, Windows and a, Linux, any kind of ISO file, just select it, download copy and open. And you see, you're gonna see here, one file is loading, right? 
So it's gonna it's gonna load for forever on the data store. So whenever you need to create a virtual machine, just select it and then install it. That's it. So I'll show you the process actually how you gonna install it. And also I have a complete video how to create a virtual machine. So please also watch that video. I'll share the that video link um, on this description in this video's de description box. So you can watch that video that will help. So I'm highly recommending you download or collect all the Windows ISO file or any like ESXi ISO file and then upload it to the data store. In future, you don't need to like look for your local store, like local machine or anywhere. You can just create a machine and whatever the operating system you want, just select from the data store. That's it, that's simple. So it's now storing. I'll show you the example, like how it's look like. So I have to wait until it's finished. It's only 28% done. All right, so the file is uploaded here. I just expanded like this. You see the ISO file is uploaded. So now it's in my data store. So let me show you how actually it will help you. So if you want to create a virtual machine, I'm just giving you like an example. Um, I'm not actually creating a virtual, like actual virtual machine because but if you create a virtual machine, there is a lot of configuration required, but I'm not showing, I'm not going to show you the all the, all, all the configuration because I have a complete separate video, I already said. Like, so I will share that video link uh, on this description, on this video's description box. So I'm just quickly show you actually how you're gonna show that this ISO file, that's what my goal. So click next. And whatever the machine name is, anyone, anything, but say for example, this one. And um, machine name is anything you want, you can just assign. And uh, guest family, say for example, is Windows. I'm, I'm, I don't have any Windows, but since uh, it's Windows and version is uh, 2016, 2019. So, uh, VMware has on up to 2016 or higher version. So if you install 2019, just select 20, this one. If you install 2016, still is, use this one. If you install 2019, use this one. 2022, use this one. But any other OS, you have to go select like this. And if you want to install the Windows 10 or uh, you know, see here, Windows 10 and 11, they don't have, so you can just select uh, this one. I think 11, they have an, on the other ESX version because this ESX version is already end of life. That's why it's not showing. Anyway, um, just based on which operating system you are going to install. That's what you need to select. But in this 6.7, uh, it has only up to 2016. So if you want to install 2019, that's fine. Just select this 2016. And click next. And then data store. Where are you gonna, uh, which data store you're gonna use for your virtual machine? So for virtual machine storage, I'm gonna use say, this one. Again, in details I have on my other video, click next. So on the virtual machine configuration, I'm not showing you anything here. You can watch my uh, uh, virtual machine video. I'm just going to directly show you here. So if you want to install Windows, then you have to go to the data store, ISO. So whatever the ISO, so I upload the ISO file here, right? So this is the actually ESX side, not Windows, but I have Windows also uploaded in my data store. You see here, in this data store, I have another ISO. You see how many ISOs I uploaded here? It's a lot of ISOs, right? So whatever the ISO I want, so I, if I want to install, say for example, uh, Windows Server 2016 or maybe Windows Server, this is 2019, right? 2019. So just select it and then uh, pass it and then click next. And before you do the next, actually there is something you need to do. I forget to show you. Uh, on the BM option tab, you have to boot options. You have to change it to BIOS. Otherwise you cannot boot it. You have to change this one, these options from the BM option tab, BIOS. So by default it's gonna select EFI but we have to change it to BIOS and make sure VMware tools, you have a check mark here up there. That's it. 
and finish. So when you hit click finish, that means your BM is created and you are trying to install Windows 2019, but how 2019 is going to be installed? Where are you going to be, where do you get the CD? Because you already, as a virtual CD, you already shows from your data store, right? ISO file is there, it's already mounted. So what do you need to do? Just click here and power on, or you can click here, power on. Okay. Okay, it's, it's running, right? It's powering on, you see here? 19%. Actually, it shouldn't be take that long. Okay, it's open, okay. So you see here, now my Windows instruction is loading. It's loading. So this is the process, the way you can install the Windows operating system. And that's all, that's what I want to show. And how you gonna install this like virtual machine? How you can create a Windows virtual machine, Windows Server, and also how can how you can install the Windows operating system? That one I have a separate video which will I'll share the link on the, like uh, in the description box. And I think that's all. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. And if you think this video is helpful, please make some comments. And your comments uh, encourage me to make more videos for you guys. And if you're new in my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.